Aloha. Thank you for purchasing When Real Estate Meets the Blockchain Crypto Course. Produced by your boy Crypto Roots. So real estate is the biggest asset class in the world. And it's about to be disrupted majorly by blockchain technology. Now, you want to stay ahead of the game? It's all about education. It's all about early adoption. Uh, uh, the innovators in innovating early in the game. And there's things, there's, there's platforms already that you can start applying this information when it comes to real estate investing. Now, prepare to take notes. And uh, I did my homework and I just wanted to share my research with you guys. Every course I try to do a little better and better. Uh, if there's any comments, any things you want me to improve on, please email me and let me know. Um, I'm traveling, so I, I do the best I can with the equipment I have, and uh, I appreciate it. Thank you for, for uh, just showing me some love and paying attention to whatever it is I do. Thank you. Aloha. Take care. When Real Estate Meets the Blockchain, a crypto course by Crypto Roots. Aloha, family. So I am Crypto Roots. I'm on a mission to teach my people about cryptocurrency and modern technology in hopes that we can use the knowledge and skills to uplift ourselves in this digital era. You know what I'm saying? So what will you learn in this course? You'll learn what is the blockchain and what makes it secure. You'll learn what Ethereum is. What are smart contracts? What are ERC-721 smart contracts? The various problems of modern day real estate investing. Important facts about real estate investing to consider. The various ways blockchain technology can drastically improve real estate investing. Tokens and token trading. Examples of current crypto real estate platforms. My personal predictions for the future of real estate investing. So, the blockchain, aka distributed ledger technology. So, security from the blockchain. A blockchain is in the simplest of terms a time stamped series of immutable records of data that is managed by a cluster of computers not owned by a single entity each of these blocks of data is secured and bound to each other by using cryptographic hashes the blockchain network has no central authority it is the very definition of a decentralized system since it is a shared immutable public ledger the information in it is open for anyone and any uh, for anyone and everyone to see it runs on a peer-to-peer -peer network similar to Napster and LimeWire every computer acts as the client the server and the data database simultaneously ensuring no data is lost to one computer going down all right so some key points of blockchain it's immutable it can never be changed or altered all right so there's not one transaction there's not one a uh, binary bit or code that can be changed on the blockchain it is uh, immutable and that's what gives it its main sense of security okay um, it's not like the records uh, and databases we have that are completely mutable and anyone uh, can go and change anything at any time and no one would even know anything about it an open public ledger. Anyone at any time can verify for themselves the authenticity of any and every transaction and account. All right. So what that means, it's like you pretty much have an online decentralized bank account. It means anybody can check into your wallet and you can check into anybody's wallet, but they don't necessarily know it's yours unless you tell them. The wallets are pretty are protected by cryptographic hashes. So it's it's somewhat anonymous. Uh, pseudo anonymous it's relatively cheap 
Transaction fees for miners can vary on the network and its traffic, but generally they are very affordable for most blockchains. All right, so every now and then you're going to see congestion on a block uh, a blockchain network where the fees are really high or pretty high, but that's only temporarily temporary.